Hey YouTube, Lord Alex here. I'm at my workbench. A uh, buddy of mine came by a couple days ago and said, Hey, I bought a machete. Can you sharpen it for me? Yeah, I could probably do that. Bring it on over. Let me see. Well, this is what he comes up with. This is the Gerber Gator. The, uh, I believe this is the full size model. They make a shorter one, the Gator Junior. Um, looking. Tape measure here. This is how it came. Uh, I don't have the packaging to show you. He didn't bring that. Let's see. Uh, about a 17. Well, let me see. The saw blade is about 14 and a half inches. From the tip of this little plastic. I don't know why they have that on there. Tip of that to here is 17 inches of sharpened edge here. And I. I use that term loosely. Gerber, by their standards, well, they they call this a fine edge and aggressive sawtooth back. Well, yes, it is aggressive. And if you can see the, they are slightly canted either way, but they're not sharpened. They're just straight cuts. Normally a saw, each one of these teeth has got a sharpened edge on it. Uh, these don't. Not that big a deal. I think he said he paid $15 for it. So, I'm sure there's probably $15 worth of steel here. It's got a nice, uh, nice little bit of flex. But the reason he wanted me to sharpen it is because well, there's absolutely no edge on this whatsoever. This thing is flat. And I'm pretty disappointed at that. I would expect there at least to be some type of something. But I mean, this thing is, is flat. Look at that. See, it's just... It's nothing. It's bending my box. There's, there's not any type of, type of edge on here whatsoever. Um, normally you would put this on a, a belt sander or something like that to uh, give it a better edge. I don't have a belt sander. I th There's no way I'm going to sharpen this on a, on a stone or uh, on maybe my sharp maker or something like that. It's, there's not any, enough edge to even start with on here. I mean, this is if you look at it, you can't see it through the video, but... You can actually see the flat edge on here. It doesn't even come to a a, a point. It's, it's flat. So, uh, okay, other than that, it doesn't seem like it's uh, too bad of a machete. The handle is kind of odd shaped, but it's okay. Um, there's plenty of different grip options. I could even grab it with two hands if I needed to. Uh, as I was swinging around a little bit, I found that the the balance is kind of odd in the way the grip's made. If you grip it like like they intend for you to in this little choil here, it puts a lot of forces on just your index finger here. And I haven't I haven't cut anything there with this yet. It's still got the tape from the sticker that was on there. So I'll take that off for him. Uh, Probably take this off and put a better lanyard on there for him. It's just a cheesy little nylon string they come with. Um, but I found that if you hold it like this, you choke up on it like that, you have a much, uh, much better feel, more balanced feel to it, and a, a better grip. So I think this is probably going to be the way to use it, like that, holding it like this. But uh, I got to test that out and see. Just a uh, stupid little point protector. I don't know why it's on there because you know, there's no point. I mean, it's kind of pointy, but that's not going to hurt you. Um, the sheath is alright. The sheath is not bad. Um, it says sheath, 
sheath made in China. I don't know where the, the blade's made. It's, it is uh, carbon steel, so that's a plus over stainless. Stainless, stainless machetes you end up usually breaking very quickly. Um, oh, look at here. If you like Shiner beer, this is a seasonal summer beer, and it's great. Summer seasonal uh, beer brewed with Texas ruby red grapefruit juice and with ginger and natural flavor added. Don't like grapefruits. This stuff is great. Uh, this stuff is awesome. Go out and try some. Buy you a six pack. If you like good beer, this is good beer. I am a huge fan of Shiner. That's Shiner Box, probably my favorite beer. Uh, they do make some beers that I do not care for so much. This is a hit. This is definitely worth going out and spending seven or eight bucks on a six pack of it. Life's too short to drink cheap beer. Anyway, the sheath is pretty pretty decent. I don't know how long it'll, it'll, hand, it'll hold up. Um, it feels like there's the same type of plastic inside there that was in my uh, Cold Steel Bushman sheath, which really sucks. But this one was designed a little bit better. I like, I like the way it goes around the handle like that. Works pretty good. So what I'm going to do to try to get this an edge on this, I'm going to use one of these dreaded things. That's a carbide sharpener. Yes, I told you don't use these. And I, agree, I still stand by that. Don't use these on your knives. These are only for gas station knives and cheap machete, machete, machetes. Cheap machetes. Um... I thought about putting this on my bench grinder, but I don't want to worry about getting it too hot or uh, screwing up and, and really making a really weird edge on this thing. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull it through this a few times, shave a good amount of this steel off of here and see if I can get at least a starter edge. And then I will go to my, my coarse uh, flat stone, my wet stone, uh, and and see if I can't put a little bit better edge on it. He's The guy that owns this is not going to be doing any kind of fine detail work with it. He's not going to be shaving feather sticks. He's not going to be uh, carving or whittling anything like that. He's going to use it to swing around and cut through tall grass and vines and maybe hack at a little tree every once in a while when he gets bored. Um... Saw something about this hole. There's a reason for this hole. I don't remember what it is. But, uh, somebody knows. Let me know. Maybe I can pass that knowledge on to him and he can use it for something. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. Well, let's see after I get this thing cleaned up. And, uh, I'll make another video of how it turns out. It's not going to be amazing, but it will be sharp at least. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching. This is the Gerber Gator. Pretty unimpressed out of the box, but I'm sure we can uh, improve on it. Uh, thumbs up, subscribe, comment, like, blah, 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 all that stuff. Thanks for watching. See you guys later.